this Godot tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up character animations for your RPG. Feel free to download the sample project for this tutorial from GitHub. The link is in the description. The sample project contains a basic scene with some cutable trees, mineable rocks and a player node. When starting the game, you cannot do much, except moving around with WASD and arrow keys, and rolling or jumping with spacebar. Heading into the player node, we find a pre-configured animation player that contains various animations. Theoretically, we could now call those animations manually, however, this becomes very difficult to manage once we want to add more and more animations. Also, the problem is that we want to call specific animations based on the direction of the player's movement. You may notice that the animations are configured in a specific way. All animations that affect facing to the left and with underscore left, while animations facing to the right and with underscore right. We can use this to our advantage by calculating the direction string based on the player's movement. Navigate into the player GD script and create a new method on the bottom called getDirectionString that accepts one parameter of type float. This will be the angle in radians in which the player is currently moving. Then we will convert it into a degree angle, as this is easier for us to visualize. Consider a circle, the right direction is a zero and clockwise it increases up to 180 degrees. Counterclockwise it decreases until it reaches around minus 180 degrees. This means that the player should animate to the right when the angle of movement is between minus 90 and 90 degrees. In any other case, let us animate to the left. After this method has been crafted, we can proceed to actually call the right animation based on the player's direction. For this, we first need to access the animation player. Head to the top and inject the animation player node via the node access operator. Afterwards, create a new method on the bottom that accepts an argument of type string that will be the type of the animation we want to play. Next, we compute the name of the actual animation that consists of the animation type and the direction string. The player script has a direction vector that we can access to acquire the angle value from it. All we then have to do is play the animation. Next up, we need to call the animations within the code. Inside the run state function, we play the run animation when the player is running and the idle animation when the player is being idle. Also make sure to call the roll animation when the player presses the roll action, as well as the jump animation whenever the jump action is pressed. Then play the wood cutting and mining animations when there is either a tree in front of us or a rock in front of us. Starting the game makes it clear that something doesn't seem to be quite Right. Reading through the Godot documentation of the animation player reveals that the play animation will actually restart the animation if it currently is not playing. This means that when we press the jump button, the animation gets restarted before the state changes because we switch to the jump animation while the idle is still running. Luckily for us, there's an easy fix at hand. Head back into the play animation method and we stop and reset the animation in case the requested animation type is different from the animation currently playing. When now starting the game, you can correctly walk around with WASD, roll with spacebar and jump by standing still. Also, walking to a tree will cut it down when interacting with it. The same applies to rocks. Thank you for watching my tutorial and make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more game dev stuff. You can also vote for future tutorials on my Discord server. The link is in the description. See you next time.